Hi Silhouetters, this is Anna and I have a tutorial for you today. I have a shape here that I have um, traced from an image that I found online and it actually has three pieces as you can see but this middle piece is one solid piece um, and let's imagine I wanted to do something with the cross in a separate color maybe to look something like this. Um, this is kind of our finished goal to come up with something that looks like this and I've actually got the pieces separated out there. So um, because I've traced this and because the original had the cross overlapping with the H, the cross and the H are actually one piece. There's nothing to ungroup. There's no compound path I can undo because it's not two pieces. It's just one path. So I want to separate this and make it into separate pieces. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, the first thing that I want to do is I, I like to make sure that my images do not get misaligned. I think that I've got everything lined up just how it was on the trace and I want to keep it lined up that way. I don't want the I and the S to be kind of off kilter from the middle piece. So the first thing I'm going to do is to um, make a compound path of these and you don't have to do this but I think it's nice so that I can keep all my pieces together I'm going to be moving things around and that way I know they're going to stay in the correct alignment to each other I could do group but it might cause some issues for me in a little while so um, I'm just going to do compound path on this one so what I'm going to do first um, I'm going to be using the knife to cut apart this image um, using the knife is something that you ha can only undo by hitting the undo button, right? It's not like ungrouping where you can just group it back or um, something like that. So I'm going to be doing using the knife to cut things apart. I'm going to be doing some point editing. Those are all things that I can't undo unless I use the undo button. Um, I can't put it back how it was. So before I do that, I always make a copy of what I have so that... Um, I won't mess up my original. I have one that looks like it was supposed to look originally and that'll also help us in the end here. So what I'm going to do, I made a copy and to do that I held down the Alt key on my keyboard and then click and drag to make a copy. And what I'm thinking I want to do on this is to have it like this example over here. The letters um, as one piece and then the cross as another piece so that I can layer them together. So what I'm going to do, the first thing I want to do is cut apart the cross from the rest. So I like to zoom in close and see what I'm doing. So I'm going to use my um, drag zoom here. That's my favorite zoom tool because I can get exactly what I want in my view. And I'm going to zoom in on the place where the cross and the H intersect with each other. I'm going to select my knife tool. There are some special knife functions if you have um, designer edition, but I don't need to use any of them to do this tutorial today. So I'm just gonna cut. Um, rather than trying to get really close and, and cut up close to the cross here, where I may accidentally take off part of it that's you know um, too much, or I may leave a little stub, I'm gonna purposefully cut it kind of in the middle here and leave um, little stubby pieces sticking out of the side of the cross and then I'm going to delete just selecting them and using the delete key on my keyboard and delete the pieces that I don't need and remember I haven't lost those because I made a copy before I started so now I almost have what I'm looking for the cross but I've got little kind of nubbins sticking out of it so I'm going to zoom in again and I'm going to use point editing to get rid of those pieces that are sticking out. So I'm, there are two ways to enter point editing. I can click to select and then use the point editing tool over here on the left or just double click uh, and that's going to show me the points. What I want to do is I can see like this point up here is an original part of the cross because I didn't cut anything up here. This is an original part of the cross. These here are places where the cross was intersecting with the H, and I want to get rid of, of those parts. I can quickly select all of those, and to do that, I'm going to hold down on my keyboard Alt and Shift. Alt and Shift. Hold that down before you click anything. And then I'm going to click and draw a selection rectangle out around that whole section that's sticking out, and I'm going to hit the Delete Point button here. 
um, on the, the task pane here on my right. You cannot use the delete key on your keyboard to do this. It will delete your whole shape. So I'm going to do that. Uh, it looks like it just completely fixed that for me. So let me come out and make sure it looks how I wanted it to look. And it looks great. So um, now I want to get, I've got just the cross and actually depending on how you're layering your final product, you might be done at this point because you could bring this this cross to the front and give it a different color and you could actually layer it over top of the original design and there I've already got two colors and it's fine that this one is the whole piece but if you do actually want the letters to be separate as well what we'll do is take another one of those copies and we're going to do the same method we just did but we're going to cut the cross away instead of cutting the letters away so I'm going to zoom in close here where the cross intersects intersects with the H and I'm going to use the knife tool to cut across and remove that cross from the letter leaving little nubby pieces sticking out on purpose delete the extra pieces that I don't need I'm gonna leave the I and the S this time so that they'll be lined up correctly when I'm finished with this part of the project I'm gonna zoom in close double click on the H to enter point editing mode and I can see I've got some good um, points here that show the original shape is gonna still still be correct when I take out this part in the middle so I'm going to use alt shift I'm going to click and drag around this whole section and then use the delete point button and there I've got my letters so there are three separate pieces I'm going to select all of them and right click and make compound path and now I've got two separate pieces. If you want to make sure yours is lined up exactly like the original, it doesn't matter too much on this design, but on some designs it might. Um, keep, an, keep one of your originals there and you can use it to line your pieces up exactly how you want them. And um, I'll make this that same purple color that I had on my example. All right, and I want that purple piece in the front. I'm going to bring it to the front. And then, you know, if you're really picky about your alignment, you can get in close and use the arrow keys on your keyboard to nudge them into the exact um, arrangement that you want so that it exactly lines up. And there I have ended up with what I was going for. Now, there are times when um, you will not be able to drag over that whole section um, to select and you'll have to uh, delete individual points so I am going to show you how to do that let's say I was doing the same thing again here um, and I'm going to cut away the H And let's say once I get in here to, to get ready to do the points, maybe you tried to delete all those points and it made something wonky with your line or it didn't quite line up. You can individually delete them. So what I basically want to do, the points, um, it's kind of like a dot to dot, a connect the dot. So I kind of want like maybe this point here to connect to this point here or maybe you know I'll find out that that's a little bit wider at that point or something like that so maybe I want this point to connect to one further up here's the next point up here um, so kinda look and see which points you want to connect in um, in a line and then you're gonna delete the ones that are in the way and um, what I'm gonna do as I click on these, do you notice that when I click one of these points, it shows one of the line, one side of that point, the red line is highlighted in red. Usually this go, goes clockwise around the outside of a shape. So as I click, it's highlighting in red the next segment as I go clockwise around this shape. Um, it's easier and quicker. It'll, it'll take longer if I delete this one because I, I wanted to keep this point if I go backwards in other words but if I go clockwise if I start with the 
first one in the clockwise rotation that I want to get rid of, and then repeatedly hit delete, and it's going to ch change my shape and make it wonky for a little while. Do you see what it's doing? Because it's connecting those two points there, but that's okay. Keep hitting delete, 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 until you've got the points that you wanted to have. And the same thing here, again, I want to go clockwise around this shape, so I'm going around like this. I probably want to keep this point, so I want the next one. I'm not sure if I got it or if I got the one next to it, but that's okay. I'm going to hit delete, 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 delete until I get to where I want it. And I see I have an extra one here, so I'm going to go back and get that one. Um, so that's how I, you would do it if you had a situation where something was sticking out in a place where you couldn't select the whole area. Um, and you could still do it by deleting individual points. So that is how you do that, and I hope this is helpful to you. Thanks, guys.